Korean, what should I eat? Chinese food, Malay food, Indian food, rice, noodles, soup, bread. It's always so hard. Do other people have the same problem? How do people know what do they want to eat? I mean, it's not only about making choices when it comes to food. I have trouble making decisions for everything. Like when I was due for a phone upgrade, I remember that I squatted outside the M1 shop just researching what the best phone I wanted or what, what the best phone for me was. And only after four hours did I decide. Yeah, based on track record, I think it's pretty clear that I don't make decisions easily. So how do I navigate them then? Well, there are a few metrics that you can follow, or at least some metrics that I follow. Well, of course, there's first, there's the pros and cons, you know, just weighing out which one is better, which one is worse. And then, of course, there's the matter of, like, morals, like, following, like, for example, with the case of food, would it be your eating to live or living to eat? And, of course, there is environmental factors, such as... Well... I guess I won't be eating lunch today. Mm. But I think the worst part about making decisions is when you have to make decisions for a collective of people. It's already hard enough to pick something for yourself. Choosing for other people is even harder because you need to like sort of like please everybody. So obviously the, the best choice would be the most communistic, the most utilitarian, you know, the one that will benefit everyone. But then again, you can never please everyone. That's just the rule of life. Well, lucky for me today, I don't have to make any decisions because today, I'll be letting the world decide what I eat. You might not understand it, but you'll get what I mean. Alright, good morning Singapore. We are now outside, live outside Tiong Bahru Bakery where I'll be going in and asking the staff for some recommendations on what I should eat for breakfast. Yeah, that, that, that's all. I mean, I picked Tiongboro because like, they have wide choices, they have many choices, and who doesn't love a good pastry, right? So, yeah, let's go. Hi. Do you have anything you recommend? Looking for sweet or savoury? Uh, maybe something savoury. Yeah. Savoury, you can try the ham and cheese. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Okay, can. Thank you. That was the most stressful thing of my life. Alright. I didn't even have time to like let the camera roll and they brought it out, but breakfast. Okay. Mm. Your Mario Bakery is just an easy pick for any bread. And I really love bread. Like I think bread is so easy to eat. Like there's a carb. You can put anything. It can be sweet, it can be savory. Who doesn't love it? But yeah. Good stuff. It's so flaky. Oh yeah. This was 950 and we're stacked of like twelve dollars, so maybe that would turn some people off. And it does turn me off also, so maybe if you're feeling a little rich today. So we're now at Coven Mall and I knew for lunch that I wanted to find a friend to recommend something for me to eat, right? So I was thinking, who should I call? Like I went around asking on Instagram like if anyone was interested and then I realised I knew just the right person. So yeah, hopefully it comes before it starts raining. Well, 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 if it isn't the man himself. Hello. Long time no see. If it isn't Singapore's bootleg turtle boy. If it isn't <laughs> If it isn't the Food King protege. No. This is Greg. We met at BMT and we were buddies in SES. But right now, Greg has gone on to work in a small up and coming channel called Overkill under the Food King. So hopefully he knows what he's doing today. Right? Oh, today oh, I right. today I host it. So where are we? We are at Eddie's Western. Yeah, it's on a Coven. I, I ate here since I was young. 
Really? Yeah. Like, it's one of those things where like after service, they then, all like, come over. a bunch of us will come over. Right. When I used to go to church, it was McDonald's. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it's right? cheaper than Mac, so. For sure. <laughs> it's not now. Uh. We ordered the, quite a bit. Chicken cutlet, fries, or is Ah, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you want it? Same. Uh. Oh, I mean, $11. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, you, you, gonna, you let people pick for you today, right? Yeah. yeah. So I assume you'll be quite hungry. So do you think that you have... Do, do you find that you have trouble picking food to eat? Or like, no? I feel like quite chill. Easy. No. I, okay, context. Uh, I'm not a foodie. Uh. Say first. Uh. Yeah, I, I think I can eat most things that are like... 3 out of 10, like I'll still be okay. I have a, my stomach quite like annoying. There are days where I will decide to eat cleaner. Oh, and then there sure. are days where it's just like, Pick I'm out. gonna get mala. Right, then so. Yeah, mala, tala, and like, the whole works, you know? Yeah. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Recommendation, start from chop. Really? Yeah. Okay. okay. Just. I'm gonna chill Oh, my bread. Wait. <laughs> I didn't eat, I didn't eat. Oh my life. Did he eat Yes. Alright. Editing magic. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah? The fries look like quite busting. Wow, the old school is really old school. Yeah. And I think a portion big as well. And by the way, this is 11 bucks here. Anywhere else is like 14. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go for a cover. Oh, go for it. Yes. This was a good choice. Right. The right person. Oh, and they give you this butter also, bro. The pak butter, bro. Oh, for the bread. Well, this is the expensive one. This is the kind that you get in a hotel. Oh, for sure, yeah. My man went to pick up the camera and he straight up just dropped it. <laughs> okay, whatever. Fuck it. So now that we're done with our meal, do you have anything you want to shout out? No la, not Subscribe really. to a small up and coming channel, Overkill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The small, yeah, the, the breakout, small... breakout creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Overkill. Yeah, overkill yeah, it's, it's quite growing, but... Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at uh, it's g underscore r underscore e underscore g. I'll put, I'll put in the description uh, if you want to check it out. Alright. Next meal. Prime. Where can I get some prime? So, so honestly, this is just an excuse to try it because I mean I've been watching a lot of Simon and I think <laughs> I just wanted to try it out. Although I've heard mixed reviews. And technically, this is the internet's recommendation because they keep pushing it to me, right? And I think everyone has heard about it, so yeah. Do you drink it, by the way? I well, I have to. <laughs> yeah, but what I, I, I try, I try lah. So what would you say is like the best flavor then? Well, I think my favorite is the blue one. The blue one. Yeah, you can't go wrong with the blue one. Okay. Yeah, I see the top seller is the blue and then the ice pop. Right. Blue ice pop. The glowberry. Yeah. Alright, I've been pushed out because there were too many cosplayers and too much noise in Suntec. I feel like I've tried it once when my friend brought it back from overseas years ago, but I don't remember how it tasted. Mm. Very sweet. Very sweet. Um, the flavouring is kind of artificial, so it kind of tastes like medicine. Like. It tastes a bit like medicine now, uh, because it's like this raspberry, black currant flavor. Honestly, I guess it's not that bad. I wouldn't say it's the best drink to drink. I still like water more, but... Considering that this bottle is $12, which was the same amount as my croissant for breakfast and my whole lunch, maybe you might want to think about... Uh, you may want to consider before buying it. Also, I got Mr. B's chocolate because they had it in the vending machine, so why not, right? 
All right. Tastes like normal chocolate. The peanut inside is not bad. But yeah, once again, this was $15 and this was $12. And my lunch was $11 for two pieces of chicken. So maybe once in a while, but don't make this a daily, weekly occurrence, you know. So yeah. At the end of the day, I think it's safe to say that today's meals were alright. I mean, don't get me wrong, they weren't bad for sure, but something about them didn't feel right. To me, the choices we make are reflections of who we are as people. Ordering an extra appetizer or getting a bubble tea every day. These are choices we make. Are they wrong to do? Of course not. There are no wrong choices. But these choices, they give insights into our character. They act as windows for others to understand who we are. Perhaps the phrase, you are what you eat, isn't referring to the biological, but rather the metaphorical division of choosing and what it says about us. And of course, since there is no wrong choice, it means that we don't have to worry about the things we will choose because we already know the choice we want to make. We, as people, are our choices. Also, I really love Taiwan.